أصحاب السمو والمعالي والسعادة السيدات والسادة ضيوف دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة الكرام من كافة دول العالم مرحبا بكم من جديد والآن ننتقل إلى الكلمات الرئيسية لليوم الثاني من قمة إدارة الطوارئ والأزمات أبو ظبي 2023 وندعو سمو الشيخة شمة بن سلطان بن خليفة الرئيس والمدير التنفيذي للمسرعات المستقلة لدولة الإمارات للتغير المناخي للصعود إلى المنصة وإلقاء كلمتها الرئيسية فلتتفضل سمو الشيخة مشكورة Your Excellencies, ladies, gentlemen, distinguished guests, I'd like to thank the National Emergency Crisis and Disaster Management Authority for inviting me to speak this morning and for convening us to highlight the necessity of sustainability in crisis response. Our world constantly faces new and unexpected challenges. Over the past few years, we have witnessed to a global pandemic that rocked the foundations of society. Much has changed as a result of COVID-19. Many organizations have implemented remote working policies and hybrid working policies, a development that has affected not just the way we work, but also the way we live. Investment in vaccine research has revolutionized the medical field, while disaster relief efforts have expanded and viral testing techniques have evolved. Similarly, we have seen a significant shift in weather patterns here in the UAE, with heavy rains causing considerable flooding in the Northern Emirates in the peak of summer last year. We need to look no further than our neighboring nations to see the devastating effects of cyclones in Oman and mass floods in Pakistan. Almost a year later, Pakistan is still recovering from one third of the country being submerged underwater. 15,000 people suffering death or injury and the displacement of more than 8 million individuals. Despite being the lowest contributors to climate change, developing countries remain the most vulnerable to its impacts. It's important to recognize that the responsibility of building resilience lies not with one country or nation, but with all of us as stewards of our planet. In order to achieve this on a global level, we must first start with our cities, our communities, and our policies. While our efforts have primarily focused on climate mitigation, we cannot ignore the importance of adaptation to the new world that we are inevitably living in. According to the World Economic Forum, the cost of adaptation in developing countries is expected to reach $300 billion per year by 2030. In contrast, global adaptation finance flows were only $46 billion in 2020, of which only $28.6 billion went to developing countries, leaving a significant gap. 
Both the public and private sector have a role to play in bridging this gap. And this is where the adoption of sustainable finance mechanisms, such as blended finance, can play a vital role. By merging private capital with development funding, blended finance structures allow stakeholders to de-risk their investments while still investing with a purpose. This is just one potential avenue for positive impact, but there are many more that I believe we can collectively explore. I encourage everyone at this summit today to think beyond the tools available to us today as we innovate and mobilize a pathway to a more sustainable and resilient tomorrow. Thank you.